Do you know what major red flags that you should look for when you're purchasing a home? No problem, because that's what we're talking about today. So stay tuned. I got you covered. Hello, my name is Lynette and I am a realtor with Berkshire Hathaway in Greensboro, North Carolina. And in today's video, we are going to talk about red flags to look for when you're purchasing a home. So let's get started. When buying a home, many home buyers will walk the home, checking out the layout of the rooms and how the home is furnished. And you know, they'll even think about how their furniture will fit in the home. But savvy buyers, on the other hand, know what's really important and what they really should look for when they're buying a home. Remember this tip. In some cases, a very well-staged home could hide a lot of problems. So red flag number one is foundation problems. So many homes have hairline cracks, which simply indicate that the home is settling as it ages, but large cracks can indicate bigger problems. Other issues to look out for are visible cracks along the windows and door frames, sloping flooring and doors and windows that don't open. So red flag number two, heavy smells. So this is not in every case, but a home that smells heavily of air freshening scents could be the seller trying to, to mask odors in the home. So take a deep whiff in every room of the house so you can see if anything kind of smells odd. Look closely at the walls, the ceilings, and the flooring for signs of water damage, head accidents, mildew, or smoke before you decide on making an offer for a home. So red flag number three is standing water. So that neighborhood creek might look nice and serene. However, creeks and ponds could flood, making their way into your home. So make sure that the home that you're purchasing is not in a flood prone area and if it is, just make sure to purchase flood insurance because that'll protect you in the event of flooding. So red flag number four is mold. So to detect possible signs of mold while touring a home, open up all of the, the cabinets in the home and look around the pipes and drains for any evidence of mold. Also check the caulking that are around the faucets and the tubs and toilets for black spots and look for patches on the ceiling for possible evidence of mold. So red flag number five is water damage. So a musty odor can indicate water damage even if you don't see it, you know, on the property. Always check the ceilings and the walls for water lines and brown spots on the ceiling as this can indicate water damage. Also check out exposed pipes and basements or laundry rooms and check for rust, water stains, or any leaks. So red flag number six are weird windows. So take a look at all of the windows in the home, pull back the curtains and check for uneven frames. And also try to open up a few of the windows to make sure that they actually open up easily. Windows that get jammed could be a sign of foundation issues or they could just be poorly installed windows. So red flag number seven are signs that the house has been neglected. So when you tour a home, make sure that you look up, look for signs that the homeowner may have been neglecting the home's maintenance. Look for issues such as burnt out light bulbs, leaky faucets, tall grass, peeling paint, and things like that. Although these things may not indicate a major issue, it can tell you that the current homeowner has been kind of neglecting the property, which could cause some major issues down the road. A homeowner who cares for their property will make sure to perform annual inspections of the major systems in the home, for example, your water heaters and your HVAC systems. They'll also make sure that the doors and windows are working properly and just kind of stay on top of home maintenance. So the bottom line is this, don't tour homes and not look for those hidden issues with the home. And of course, you know, you may not be a home inspector, but you and your agent should be able to see if there are any red flags with the home. So those are my top seven tips um, when touring a home. I hope you found this video useful and can use these tips when you are previewing your next home. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you next week. You take care, bye-bye.